Hello guys, this right here is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer Plus. So the other day I gave it a try and today I am gonna be reviewing it for you in depth. So this is the new and improved version of the original Revlon brush, the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. In the original Revlon brush, I feel like it's been trending on social media for what feels like years, just because of how effortlessly it gives you that salon blowout look. Get the hair dryer! We need a blowout! The new Revlon Plus is $69.99, which is about $10 more than the original brush. The new Revlon brush has some pretty big claims behind it. It claims to give you 50% less heat exposure to your hair and apparently 75% shinier hair. So one of the new things about this brush is that it has four heat settings. It has a cool setting, a low setting, a new medium setting, and a high setting. Another difference between the OG Revlon, that's just what I'm gonna be referring to it in this video, is that the handle is a lot slimmer and even just like the brush head itself, overall, all, it is a much slimmer hair tool. So some of the alleged benefits of the Revlon One Step Plus, first of all, apparently there's activated charcoal in the bristles of the brush, which helps to reduce frizz and also helps to refresh day two hair. As I said, the handle is a lot slimmer, so I guess this is supposed to give you more control over the way that you're styling your hair and just to make your styling more precise. We have to show you this disclaimer. By the way, this is completely unsponsored. I'm not affiliated with Revlon. They're not paying me to say any of this. Um, I bought the tool myself at Target, so just wanna put that disclaimer. One thing that really stood out to me when I first heard about this brush is that the head of the brush actually detaches from the handle of the brush. And this is interesting to me because the original Revlon brush, that was not the case. It was just all attached together. Revlon says that this feature was put in place to make the brush easier to store um, and just to make it easier to travel with. I am wondering if they're gonna be coming out with new attachments for the brush, similar to the Dyson Air Wrap. Another thing I'm wondering is just whether or not they're gonna sell the head of the brush just individually so that when your blow dryer brush gets like worn out, like it tends to happen with these Revlon brushes. It is worn out. Instead of buying an entirely new Revlon brush, you can just buy the head by itself. Obviously, obviously I feel like this is a really great feature. It's more environmentally friendly if this is the route that they're gonna take. Although they, I haven't heard anything about them selling this separately, but that would be really cool. Because one of my complaints of the original Revlon brush is that <laughs> It just gets worn down very easily. And I feel like there's not uh, a lot of ways that you can like fully clean this, especially because it is attached to the power cord and everything like that. And at a certain point it becomes, I just feel like there's no going back. Like there's no reviving a Revlon brush once it's gotten um, used. Uh, enough, I guess, if that makes sense. And I feel like the only option is to buy a new one. Instead of buying a new brush entirely, it would be really cool if they could just sell the brush head separately. And then we can all just like have our own little thing and we just like replace it whenever we need one. Now let's just get into the demo. So this was the very first time that I used the brush. Before using the OG Revlon or the Revlon One Step Plus, I always air dry my hair until it's 80% dry. Just a side note, but it is really easy to damage your hair with these blow dryer brushes if you're using it when your hair is sopping wet. So just to reduce any of that potential heat damage, it's a really good idea to let your hair air dry significantly significantly before using it. Also, of course, I use a heat protectant. The one that I really like to use is the Moroccan oil heat protectant. This significantly reduces damage in my hair when I'm using heat. So another thing I kept in mind with the Revlon One Step Plus is that, especially considering the fact that it is slimmer than the OG Revlon One Step, I knew it was important for me to blow dry my hair in very small sections. I'm gonna be able to more precisely style my hair um, and have a little bit more control over, I guess, 
the way in which my hair was like waving at the ends and just the way in which I'm trying to style my hair using the brush. The very first thing I noticed was disappointing and it was just that there was pretty much no difference between the medium heat setting and the high heat setting. They both seem to be as strong as the OG Revlon One Step high setting, which was disappointing because I feel like the medium setting that was like a really big selling point for this product, to me at least they seemed the same. I am, uh, yeah, I'm a little disappointed disappointed. Another thing I noticed was that the medium and high heat setting on the One Step Plus, to me, felt stronger than the high setting on my OG Revlon One Step. Which brings me to my next point, which is that the One Step Plus definitely blow dries my hair faster than the OG Revlon One Step. Now this could be a good or bad thing, depending on the way that you look at it. So on the one hand, this is a good thing because there's less time that my hair is being exposed to heat. But on the other hand, for the amount of time that it was exposed to heat, the heat set was extremely high. From my experience, I, I think that this was actually a good thing um, just because it dried my hair really quickly and immediately once I noticed that my hair was dry, I just went on to the next section of hair. If you're not paying close enough attention and if you're just like mindlessly running the brush through your hair, it's gonna dry it pretty fast and you could end up leaving it on your hair for longer than it needs to be and that can definitely lead to significantly more heat damage. Now, before I bring up my next observation, I want to quickly explain one of my techniques with using the Revlon One Step. I like to wrap my hair around the brush and then I kind of like spin it up close to my roots. Because my hair is really long, this just helps to give it more volume and it also just helps to reduce more of the frizz that I have in my hair and it just makes my hair a lot sleeker, a lot shinier, smoother than if I just like ran the brush through my hair. So as usual, that was the technique that I used with the Revlon Plus. And something that I noticed was that in a lot of the sections of my hair, I had little like indents in my hair on my hair strands, which is not something that I typically encounter with the OG Revlon One Step. I'm assuming that the indents were on my hair because the Revlon One Step Plus got a lot hotter than the OG Revlon. And I think that the bristles on the brush were just a lot hotter. It was, so it was easier to leave a mark on my hair, almost as if I had used like a crimper or something. The next time that I use the Revlon One Step Plus, I'm just gonna run the brush down the length of my hair. And then at the very ends, I'm gonna try to like do a little wave or do a little like, I don't know, a little flick inwards, which is what I typically try to do with these brushes. And flick. Um, but I'm not gonna get the same like, you know, blowout look like I get with the original Revlon One Step. Let me just finish giving this little lady a blowout. The good thing though is that the bumps did go away like after an hour. I used the brush yesterday and as you guys can see, there are no bumps in my hair at all. Now for my thoughts on the final look after using the Revlon One Step Plus. I definitely think that my hair looks less voluminous than when I use the OG Revlon One Step. Um, and I think that this is because the OG Revlon brush, it's just a lot thicker. So it works better for those of us with really long hair to give us more volume. Whereas this brush that's a lot more slim, it just doesn't really do as much in the volume department. It reminds me a lot of the Dyson Airwrap Firm Smoothing Brush or Soft Smoothing Brush Attachment. It did make my hair look really sleek and shiny and frizz free and dare I say pin straight. It did also do a little bit of a wave at the ends of my hair. Similarly to the way that those two smoothing brush attachments work on my hair. As I just said, I also think that my hair looks really shiny after using the One Step Plus. Does it look shinier than when I use the OG Revlon? I don't think it necessarily looks shinier. I just think that my hair looks a lot softer and it looks straighter. I don't know, almost as if I had like used a hair straightener and then a serum or something. I feel like that's kind of what my hair looks like right now. And then also with regards to the frizz, did I notice less frizz? I actually did notice less frizz. Not that my hair tends to get frizzy with the OG Revlon One Step, but I do feel like just overall in terms of texture, the Revlon One Step Step plus, you guys have no idea. I have been struggling to say this throughout the entire video. It's just like, I don't know. 
it's just so confusing to go back and forth between the one step plus and then the OG one step anyway. Um, yes, I think that it did reduce frizz and I just feel like texture wise, I think the Revlon one step plus is more efficient if you're going for a really sleek, frizz free, shiny look. Do I think the Revlon One Step Plus is worth it? It just depends on the length of your hair and it also depends on what you're looking for in a blow dryer brush. So first of all, if you have short hair, if you have medium length hair, yes, I definitely recommend this brush. I feel like if you have hair like up to your shoulders or even just a little bit longer, this is definitely going to give you volume. Similarly to how the original One Step works on my hair, if you have a really long hair, then I, I don't recommend this if you're going for volume. If you're going for a look like this and you have long hair, then yes, the Revlon One Step Plus actually may be a better option for you than the OG Revlon. If you're on the fence and you have really long hair and you want something more voluminous, but it makes your hair look sleek and that's not necessarily what you're going for, but you desperately need a hair tool that you can store in a more versatile space, then yes, I definitely recommend this brush just because I feel like the fact that you can detach the head from it and it's just a lot easier to travel with and everything like that, I think it is worth it. And then also, of course, if Revlon ends up coming out with extra attachments for this brush, yes, like that would be so cool. And I'm calling it now, they, let's just like say that they're gonna do that because that would be really cool. I would be so happy. Also the price point, so I don't know if you guys have looked at hair tools recently, but they are expensive. I'm expensive. Some of them are worth the money, others are not. And I just feel like because this is $69.99 relative to the price of other hair tools on the market, that is actually extremely inexpensive relative to hair tools that go for literally $500, $600. So is it worth $69.99? Yeah, it definitely is worth $69.99. So this has been my review of the Revlon One Step Plus. Uh, yeah, it looks really good. It looks very like, I feel like I look very um, 1960s flower girl with the very, very, very flat ironed down hair. Um, I just need one of those like flower thingies. If that's the look you're going for, then great. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for 800,000 subscribers and I will talk to you guys next time.